We are outside of one of my all-time favorite restaurants in Spokane, Cascadia Public House, where the owners, Jordan and Robbie, are inside waiting to answer a few questions for us. I'm Drew with Hitters, and this is Small Business Saturday. Let's head inside. So, my friends, let's dive right in. First question, what inspired you guys to open up your own restaurant? For me, I, I started in the industry when I was about 15. Just kind of fell in love with it right away. I knew that's where my passion was, was taking care of people and, and helping people. I just kind of needed an avenue to be able to, to make a career out of it. So what do you think makes Cascadia different from all the other restaurants? like in Spokane. I think our menu is, is a bit different than um, a lot of other places. We cater to different dietary restrictions. We have a lot of crossover options to where you're getting a burger, but we also have a vegan option to that burger. Uh, but outside of the menu, honestly, it's, it's our team. It's our team that makes the big difference, and they really are the ones out here connecting uh, with our guests um, and making them feel something when they come and eat here rather than just loving a, a specific dish. So you guys have both been in the industry for a long time. What do you think your favorite part of running your own business is? I say flexibility. Um, I'm, I coach you know, high school basketball and I've been doing that for five years and it takes up a lot of my time for you know, a few months out of the year. And I'm really thankful to be able to kind of curate my own schedule and move things around so I can you know, do some things I love, spend more time with my family. But the main thing is, is being able to create relationships. I think the opportunity to be able to interact with so many different people every day, interact with so many different team members, um, that's that's the most rewarding part for me and um, I'll hold on to those those relationships forever. Owning something is gives you a sense of pride and you know I feel uh, I feel like a lot of connections have been made because of Cascadia. Like Jordan was saying, you know, lifelong connections that, that we've made that this all happened because of this place. Yeah, it's it's pretty sweet. So the next question kind of flows in with that one, and that is, what advice do you have for somebody looking to open their own small business or even somebody who already has one and is just looking for advice from other small business owners? Make sure it's something you're passionate about, something that you truly care about, because um, you know sometimes the days get hard and it's a lot easier to get up when it's something that, that matters to you. Consistency. You have to be consistent with what you do, whether it's you're, you're selling a product or you're doing a service. Your, your guests or your customers that are coming in need to know what to expect and that they're going to be able to get you know, quality for their money you know, every time and not here and there. When it comes to locally owned restaurants, like I said, this is definitely one of my all time favorites. Meeting up with my buddies, going on a little hot date, bringing my family. It's literally something for every occasion. So this, I mean, you guys have amazing food. I'm sure you eat here all the time, but what's that like one menu item for each of you that you still just like, that's your number one? The five mile dip is, yeah. is my go-to, the crispy onions, the, the Fontina, the Alpine Bakery hoagie. It hits every time. It's cool. I wasn't gonna say the same as him, but uh, <laughs> my, my backup one was the crispy chicken. Yep. I love the crispy chicken. It's yep. tough to beat that. We will be doing a giveaway with these two lovely men. A little something from them, a little something from us, a little nom nom, a little swing swing. Make sure to like both pages, like this post to be entered to win a little something something from both of us. My friends, thank you again. I can't wait to come back. All right. Very soon. Maybe, maybe later okay. today. <laughs> Five hours later. Dude, Lee's, he's got to get out of here. He's been here like all day. Tell him. You got to tell him. He's your guy. You got to tell him. All right, all right, all right, I'll go tell him. I'll go tell him. Drew, my guy. It's good to see you. Hey. You too. Love you. <laughs> Always will. Mm -hmm. Hey, we love having you here. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you coming in, but you don't have to go home, but you, you got to get out of here, man. You've been here all day. It's time to go. We're closed, man. Okay. Yeah, like, we got, it's time to leave. Yeah. You can come back tomorrow, though. Again? <laughs> okay. I felt bad. I don't know what to say. I felt bad. <laughs> See ya.